If you've spent any time on social media, no doubt you've seen advertisements for the Bearskin Tactical Hoodie. This is Mark Laughlin speaking for the Ambidextral Gunfighter. I rarely buy products advertised on social media platforms like Facebook. I tend to view them as like as advertised on TV products. And though the hoodies look pretty cool in the promos, I was skeptical that they were worth the $100 promotional price, much less the $250 MSRP. I doubt anyone has purchased the Bearskin Tactical Hoodies at $250. The promo price seems to be everlasting. Skeptical. So while I probably wouldn't have purchased a $100 hoodie, Bearskin supplied me with some hoodies to review. So let's see if I turn into a shill for these hoodies. The Bearskin website shows a retail price of $250 with promotion for 60% off or $99.95. Enter in your email address and you'll start a 20 minute countdown clock to purchase at the promotional price. Actually, the countdown is for available stock, but still I despise these kinds of hurry up, time is running out marketing tactics. I guess these tactics work, but they are discouraging testament to consumer gullibility. Okay, so let's look at what features justify the price and the hype. The Bearskin Tactical Hoodie is a comparatively heavy polyester fleece hoodie. So how does it compare dollars per pound to a standard like Walmart hoodie? The Bearskin weighs 110 grams, and using the promo price, this works out to 12 cents a gram. The Walmart hoodie weighs 540 grams for 4 cents per gram. So while the Bearskin is heavier than the Walmart hoodie, it is still three times the price on a per gram basis. However, the tactical hoodie has nine pockets, two morale patch areas, and a full length zipper storm flap for a total of 12 enhancements. The Walmart hoodie has two pockets. So the bear skin cost $8.33 per enhancement, whereas the Walmart hoodie is $12 per enhancement. And really the cost of material bulk is almost inconsequential. It is the enhancements that justify the $100 price of the Bearskin Tactical Hoodie. Moreover, the Walmart hoodie looks like you're ready to smoke some crack and rob a liquor store with your raw appendix carried high point backlit by your underwear versus the Bearskin looks like you just worked out, showered, and are ready to do some sheepdogging. Morale patches are the key tactical touch and are good for displaying your Project Appleseed Rifleman patch see our old Appleseed Prep series, link in the description, or your Mantis X patches, like this Basic Marksmanship Patch, Advanced Marksmanship Patch, Elite Marksmanship Patch, Basic Combat Patch, Advanced Combat Patch, Basic Rifleman Patch, Advanced Rifleman Patch, and my coveted Gecko 45 Patch. Pockets are the other tactical touch. The zippered chest pocket is nicely placed, but too small for my full-size smartphone. I have to stow my phone in the interior chest pocket, which itself seems a bit too high up on the chest, and it interferes with the contents of the external chest pocket. I think the interior pocket should be on the right side with the exterior remaining on the left. The bicep pockets are fairly roomy and will even hold my large smartphone. The hand warmer pockets are nicely done, can hold gloves or warm and rest your ungloved hands. Since I rarely zip the hand warmer pockets closed, I ended up removing the zipper tassels for these pockets to prevent snagging. I didn't really ever expect to use the rear pouch pocket but on the first day of wearing my tactical hoodie, I deposited my grandson's airsoft PPQ in the back pouch and almost forgot it was there. I can easily see stowing a water bottle there too. The hood actually fits over my mountain bike helmet, but the tactical hoodie is so warm it would probably prove too hot for all but the most sedate rides. 
But it would be very valuable to have when deep in the Wyoming mountains, where one can easily find oneself facing some quite cold conditions and with one's energy levels depleted. The bearskin tactical hoodie could be a lifesaver in such situations. By the way, never wear a bike helmet to a street brawl or a riot since the cooling vents give your opponent a handle to yank your head about. However, maybe a bike helmet covered with a snug down hoodie would work. But I'm not going to test the hypothesis for you. Riots and street brawls are generally not my thing. The zipper. The left side zipper is a threat to American masculinity since that is actually the woman's side. However, as ambidextro gunfighters, we consider it an opportunity to practice our ambidexterity. It also allows one to unzip the outer overcoat and the hoodie simultaneously. I thought I would find the left side zipper awkward, but it really hasn't been a problem. Maybe my testosterone levels aren't what they once were. Why do Americans place men's zippers on the right and women's on the left? My hypothesis is that it is for the friendly meeting between the two. Men become skilled at working the right side zipper, and therefore when facing a woman to help dress or undress her, he finds the zipper right at hand. While I found the zippers to be easy to use, for the price, the zippers should be YKK. They look identical to the YKK zippers on my outer coat, which I've had for several years with no problems. But it appears that they are a copy of YKK. Are they a thorough and good copy? Only time will tell. I rarely use the adjustable elastic waist bungees, and the few times I have tightened them, they quickly pull loose through the locking piece. So I consider them more of a snag hazard than useful. Sizes seem to be close to expected. I usually wear large or medium, and I chose a medium tactical hoodie for a slightly more snug fit rather than bag baggy. And I still find that I can wear my elbow pads underneath the hoodie. I'm about 5'10 and weigh about 170 pounds, and I'm very happy with the fit. Version 1 ver versus Version 2. My son and daughter-in-law both have the Version 1 of the Bearskin Tactical Hoodie. Version 1 has the thumb hole cuff, no internal pockets, just these three weirdly unfinished internal hoops, and no zipper storm flap. I've seen tactical hoodies on Amazon that look like they are the 1.0 version for about $40 to $50. Version 1 did have one advantage in that the elastic waist bungees had a little bead to help you grasp the bungee. Version 3? Some enhancements I'd like to see in version 3. Some insulite padding in the elbow with an exterior, maybe neoprene, durability patch. A right side zipper option for the masculine, non-androgynous American market. Vertical waistline zippers at the 3 and 9 o'clock seam that would allow covert access to a holstered firearm, multi-tool, or a phone pouch. A $100 hoodie should have top tier YKK zippers and the hoodie should be manufactured in a pro-Western country like Taiwan, South Korea, or Turkey at the least. Morale patches. Maybe add a thin one and a quarter by three and three quarter Velcro patch on the left chest for a ribbon patch. I prefer bungee or elastic wrist cuffs rather than the Velcro tab. And how about some paracord embedded somewhere? And uh, finally, I would like to see a flashlight or pin pouch on the chest. Conclusion. The Bearskin Tactical Hoodie 2.0. Is it worth $250? No. I'd say it is worth the discounted $100 price for those with a healthy disposable income. Those of more modest wealth will probably struggle to justify spending over $60 or $70 for the Bearskin Tactical Hoodie.
a Bearskin Tactical Hoodie version 3.0 with all of the Amgun enhancements would easily be worth $100 and an exceptional value at $85. In all, I've been very pleased with the Bearskin Tactical Hoodie. It's comfy and warm, seems durable, has lots of pockets, places for my morale patches, and I routinely wear it in our chilly basement studio. My son and I wore tactical hoodies without any overcoats for a Wyoming winter hike and shoot just below freezing and with some snowfall. It is surprisingly warm and for a really severe coat, it makes for an excellent layer beneath an outer coat. With the onset of cold, chilly Wyoming weather, the Bearskin Tactical Hoodie has become my daily go-to outerwear. Are there better or more affordable options? I don't know, but I am very happy with the Bearskin Tactical Hoodie. Get one. I think you'll like it. Or at least watch for a version 3.0 Amgun Enhanced version. I'd definitely drop $100 for one with those updates. See the link to Bearskin Tactical Hoodie down in the descriptions. Mark Laughlin speaking for the Ambidextral Gunfighter. Please like, share, and subscribe.